Hey, very good Wednesday evening, everybody. Thanks for stopping by for your Aguiland Carpet One forecast. Looking at a 630 view from Sam Houston State University. It's been a pretty gray day in the Brazos Valley. That's something to get used to, the breezy winds as well. And now an increased rain chance as well. We've got an upper level system that's brought the state of New Mexico things like flooding rain, severe weather, even some wintry weather in the higher elevations. First snow flying around Angel Fire today, some rain and thunderstorms in West Texas. What we're watching right now is a good area of rain and thunderstorms in the northern Gulf of Mexico working towards the Texas coast and that's going to help pick up our first rain chance for tomorrow. Here's your pinpoint forecast. Doesn't have a lot of activity around the morning hours. We'll call it about a 40% shot though to start the day. I think the lunchtime and afternoon hours brings the most widespread activity all at once. It won't be raining all day long and it won't be raining for everybody, but some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms will be possible through the day. So we'll start the morning right about the upper 60s to just about 70 degrees. The rain chance, it'll be there off and on. Otherwise, a mostly cloudy day, a breezy day with winds from the southeast, 10 to 20, gusting to 25, and highs that are struggling to make just 80 degrees. Friday is going to be an iffy day. Most of the rain will probably be to the north and to the west of the Brazos Valley. We may get a chance to see that rain and thunderstorm activity move in by the afternoon hours. If we don't, no worries. If you're looking for the rain, it looks like widespread showers and a couple of thunderstorms will likely move in here by the latest Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and maybe even lingering into the day on Sunday before slowly tapering off early next week. Tomorrow, about half an inch of rain will be possible for parts of the Brazos Valley by the end of the weekend. Between one and three inches of widespread rain is very likely, at least from this vantage point, and we may even see a few localized areas of higher totals, so we will need to monitor a brief flood threat for parts of the area that pick up heavy rain, especially if we pick it up a little too quick and too fast. We've got the latest details coming in as we speak. Those will be up tonight on the uh, weather blog over at kbtx.com. And, of course, we'll get you caught up on the latest News 3 at 10. Stay with us. Grab the umbrella. But it looks like some soggy, breezy, and cloudy days are headed to the Brazos Valley over the next several.